Hat jemand den Satz? Schlafe ich viel. Sehr schön. These students are from Sri Lanka, Russia, Syria and Madagascar. They all want to learn German, so they can understand their neighbours and so they can get a residence permit in Canton Zug. No German, no permit. That's the rule. But the cantonal government now wants to make exceptions. If you're super rich, you wouldn't have to speak German. The Green Party says it'll hold a referendum if the plan goes ahead. I cannot understand why the government wants to divide society into two classes. So people with money can afford residence permits, and the others, with a lot less money, who work on building sites, in the hospitality industry or healthcare, can't afford them. The Zoo government rejects this claim. Proponents see no problem with making exceptions for people who pay a lot of taxes, especially as there are only one or two cases like this per year. It does mean making exceptions, yes. But the law provides for exceptions, and other cantons also do this. Why should we have tougher rules than other cantons? It's not like we're throwing work permits at these people. They have to find another way to integrate, be it through creating jobs or paying a lot of tax. We don't want to lose them. Do other cantons really make exceptions for rich foreigners? Swiss Public Television did some digging. The cantons of Zurich, Basel City and Geneva say they don't waive the language requirement even for good taxpayers. Nidwalden, Lucerne and Schwitz reserve the right to make exceptions in certain cases. And Canton Ticino likes to make exceptions. On several occasions, it has waived the requirement for Italian language skills when it was argued to be in the public interest. Between 2008 and 2014, we gave out 61 residence permits. As far as we're concerned, these people were not tax refugees. Legal expert Mark Specher says there's no legal basis for what Canton Ticino does and Zug intends to do. If a canton does this, it is giving away rights and permits just because people are rich. It is not objectively justifiable. It's unworthy of a democracy. It also contravenes the right to be treated equally under the law, because there are no objective reasons for allowing privileges for the rich. I don't see it like that. This exception will be applied in only very few cases a year. It's limited to people who could make significant tax contributions. Strict laws are not good laws. We believe there should be exceptions. We think that's important. The Zug parliament will decide next year on the legal basis for allowing the super-rich wanting to settle there to skip German classes. But nothing will change for these women here. If you don't have a bulging wallet, you still have to slog over vocabulary.